Welcome to Simple and Savored with the Bald Guy Simple Haircut. Following a theme here. Tonight, this recipe is so, so simple. And this is just kind of looking in the fridge as I whip it up tonight. Um, so, we are doing chorizo enchiladas, which are so wonderful. I love the flavor of chorizo. Um, definitely follow this recipe. This could be something that you always have in the freezer. Uh, fridge, pantry, and just have these ingredients in the house and you can come home or anybody can really kind of cook this meal. So let's get cooking and take a look at ingredients. And really it could be as simple as just uh, some ground chorizo, refried beans, and tostada shells. Or it could be refried beans and tostada shells. Um, I mean two ingredients. How simple is that? Um, I, I do like the, the flavor of chorizo so I'm definitely going to add that. And then some accoutrements, um, some red onion, cilantro, hot sauce, maybe a little salt and pepper, and some sour cream. But, I mean, that's kind of bald guy and up. The basics could be these three ingredients. Boom, dinner. All right, we have ingredients. The pan is getting hot. Let's start the timer. Okay, so we are starting with the chorizo. Then we'll be warming up the uh, refried beans in the same pan, putting it on the tostadas, and while everything's cooking here, we're going to be chopping some onions and cilantro and just prepping uh, everything while something else is cooking. So efficient use of our time and energy, so let's get going. So chorizo is in, you can hear the sizzle on the pan right now. So I am just going to start chopping this up into small pieces so it cooks quickly. All right, chopped up into little pieces. Let's uh, do what we can do while that is cooking. So next thing is just opening up some refried beans. One of the best tools. You can probably get organic refried beans. You can get locally grown egg refried beans, but just buy the ones that fit your either budget or style. Um, I like this brand and uh, that is ready to roll. Let me get my little spatula out. If you're looking for spatulas, definitely would recommend these. I can post a uh, video, a review of these spatulas as well. So now while that's hopping, Grab my knife. I'm using a red onion, that's what I had in the fridge. So, that's what we'll use. Um, you could use a sweet white onion, yellow, or sweet yellow onion would be uh, good, but this will give a nice round of color as well. I'm just going to be sprinkle these on with uh, for uh, fresh onions versus cooking them or sauteing, so it makes our recipe even quicker. Kind of break those up into sprinkleable. Not sure if that's a word, but it's a bald guy word. Sprinkleable uh, pieces. So that part is ready, and then let's get a little cilantro going here. Let's get back. See how this is doing. Turn the pan down a little more. So that is almost ready to roll. I'm gonna take that out, uh, put that into glass cup, and then we will be ready to roll there. And in the meantime, just cut some cilantro. I'm just gonna do a coarse chop. Move that around. Alright, cilantro done, put that there, ready to roll, sour cream, and uh, so, let me take this cooked chorizo, you could um, just add the refried beans to this, and just use it as one thing, but I'm wanting to, wanting to 
have to be a little prettier than that for this show. So now we're gonna add refried beans. I'm just gonna add a little water. Kind of get some of the flavor off the pan as well as let the refried beans make them easier to heat up. I'm gonna crank it up a little bit higher. Get things rolling. All right, the refried greens are spreadable. They're getting to heat. And where are we at time-wise? This is really a fast meal. About eight minutes. And let me just do a quick taste. The beans are good. You could, you could bump this up with more vegetables in here. You could bump it up with some, let's say Mexican uh, seasoning, some more hot sauce. I'm just gonna turn this off because the beans are sticking to the pan already. And this consistency kind of Kind of like cement. <laughs> I like that you can spread it and you can do a lot of things with it, this and that consistency. Um, tostada, refried beans, chorizo, veggies on top, a little hot sauce and sour cream, and we are good to go. How simple is this? And if you wanted to, you just have these tostadas, you can buy them pre-made uh, and they last forever. Shelf life is great on these. Onion. Little cilantro. And just a dollop. If you have not seen the sour cream in the squeezable container, this is great. You don't have to dirty up a spoon. Let's give it a taste. Let's see, I'm gonna spread over the sour cream a little bit better. Not as pretty now, but it's got a sour cream in it. So, oh, let's not forget. Oh, he's got to add hot sauce. Kind of a, it's kind of like salt. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Easy peasy, 10 minutes and you've got dinner. So thanks for joining me. If you are new to this channel, subscribe. Oh my God, that's good. I love chorizo. And uh, if you have friends, family that are, you know, kind of running from, from work with the commute, with the kids, with just being busy, this is a great uh, show to share with them to provide simple, easy, healthy uh, recipes for your busy life so you have more time for you and the ones you love. See you in the next video.